It is barely seven in the morning and the humidity and the heat are crazy, crazy. So I am going to be doing a little bit of harvesting. I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, my vegetable garden that I showed you before. Let's start. Wow, so I have three zucchini plants right here. I have one on this side of the bed. Uh, I have another one more towards the other side and then I have the third one over here towards us. Uh, these plants are huge. I have trimmed them twice, meaning the leaves are kind of taking over the side of the path. Get pruned. like this normally i will be wearing gloves but you know how it goes um so i have done this twice and they still i mean they still grow stronger and crazier and i love that Okay, so I basically trim a lot of the leaves that were coming on the path from the zucchinis and I'll be coming here back and really getting close to uh, trimming all of the, the hollow parts that stay there. So I'm just going to get really close to the plant, making sure uh, that the seeds doesn't get in them. Uh, but this is what I have been doing to zucchini plants because like I say, they will just take over all of this path right here and my gorgeous nasturtium was just getting flat by them but let me get to the actual harvesting part okay got my little little basket and i feel like zucchinis look at that look at that size normally i don't let them get that big but zucchini is just one of those guys that, man, if you blink, they get huge, like this guy right here. Look at that size. Oh, that's a cooking in my future. Look at that. This is the size that I like to harvest them. This is the size that I normally do because I forget about them. Okay, uh, I see some, but I'm going to get to the other side probably. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? That's a zucchini. Okay, so the bed that I have uh, back here, it's the bed that is kind of connected with lights to the front arch that my husband built. Um, I have a bunch of cherries, sun sugar cherries. I have four plants that are kind of crawling up that uh, back panel and I am going to show you how gorgeous they're looking. They're ready to harvest. This is the bed that is towards the back of my kitchen garden area. And it's, and like I said, I have four cherry tomatoes, sun sugar tomatoes. And I also have a couple of dahlias. I have some jalapeno and poblano peppers. I have sunflowers in each corner, nasturtium, some euphorbia and some blue victoria salvia i absolutely love love the look of this bed but probably one of my favorite plants here is that Bervina bonariensis that is just so whimsical and so wild my husband hates it but i absolutely 
adoring and this is the back of the bed i have been guiding the cherry tomato vines in and around the openings of that of those panels and they are growing quite well i feel like cherry tomatoes are one of those plants that don't really mind the heat these plants are definitely thriving and i am here for that I get like super cute um, baskets for harvesting because I kind of I kind of like that but other times <laughs> I just use my dress that's fine too These right here are cantare, cantare green beans. I'll put the name on the screen. And they have been producing really, really well this year. Um, I actually had the seeds from two years ago. That's when I tried them for the first time. And then um, two years ago, they did amazing too. I wasn't um, good at keeping up with them. You kind of have to, to be picking here almost like every other day, in my opinion. Um, and the plants are doing amazing this year. I was uh, wondering about the seeds because they were already older from two years ago. So they were really packed for 2020. And I mean, they don't look like they're suffering from anything. And if you're wondering about fertilizer, I only fertilize these plants when I plant them here. Um, I actually added a little bit of fertilizer. Um, I make two rows and I added a little bit of fertilizer before I put the seeds in them. I did not start this indoors. I just direct sow them. And so far I haven't done anything else, but I think that I might give them another dose because that was early in May. And now that it's the beginning of July, um, some of the leaves have a little bit of jellyfish going on so i think they they might benefit from that and right about now i am going to be also planting uh, more seeds on another spot of my garden with the same green beans i still have some more seeds i think um, and hopefully we can just continue the harvest of green beans There you go, look at that. This right here is a uh, one of the few volunteer sunflowers that I have. And this thing is massive. Um, I am going to take, I'm going to cut the bloom. I'm gonna have to use my, my nice cutters uh, because this thing is massive. And I am actually going to 
cut this guy also out of the way. It has a few a few side shoots that like wanna bloom. Like these guys over here, like I'll show you here in a close up. Some of the side shoots have like like they don't really they didn't really develop that well. I'm not really sure why. So I, I know that I'll probably won't get any blooms and if I do they're going to be like so so tiny uh, and honestly this thing is like right in the middle here and it's kind of blocking some of the sun for, from the other plants so I am going to cut the bloom and then I am going to take this plant out of the way. that okay oh my gosh this thing is so heavy this thing is quite heavy okay so there are some side shoots that came from the main stem of the sunflower and those do have nice blooms so what i'm going to do i have about six of them so what i'm going to do is that i am going to um, leave those alone here now that i have the cilantro and beads underneath this they can breathe they can see the sunshine and i also have one right here um, and that one doesn't have any side shoots so as soon as i see the blooms or the bloom on top, I will take care of that as well. These are volunteers you guys I didn't do anything this year for them this was probably the work of the birds last year or the ones that I had already there planted and gosh they're amazing and these dahlias um, this call these are called la recoleta calia calias uh, these are called la recoleta dahlias and I just I just love them so much so that's it you guys for this video hope you enjoy them thank you for being here it is hot so I am going to go inside with the harvest that I got and my flowers and ooh, and I'm gonna call it a day <laughs> <laughs>